right, so people have been asking me, is Liz good for PvE? Is she good for Bird? Well, let's let's see. I'm gonna be using her on Bird and Deer. Actually, I would use her in Deer because I had to do my completion of the week. I'll be using this scene, no taunt. I'm just gonna go full DPS here. Uh, actually, looking at it, I could have actually gone with Green Galfer here, and it would still work his passive because everyone's a different race, and it would be all seven deadly sins characters plus, of course, her. So you'd proc her passive like first turn, but you know maybe you don't want to proc her passive too fast because I would like to have her passive proc'd by like the fourth phase. Cause that's the thing, right? If for whatever reason you don't know what Liz does, um, let me waste these cards here. Her passive is that every time a Sin or her or an Archangel attacks on your team, she gets a uh, a uh, basic stat buff to her and the allies of this say of this you know sort of uh, select few. Um, oh, we can level three of her. Maybe you hold on to... Maybe I should do like phase 2 so we can see the damage because uh, phase 4, she's probably not gonna do damage anyways, let's be real. Um, so let's, let's do this uh, level 3 next turn so we can see damage without, with no damage cap either. She gives the, the, the basic stat buff to all of them and herself and at 5, sorry, 6 stacks she gets uh, a 15% all stat buffs for 6 turns. Sorry, 5 turns. Okay, okay all the numbers mixed out. So many numbers. And so, wait, let me see. She needs 2 more stacks. Okay, I'm gonna get the stack. Oh, I'm scared I'm gonna kill. Okay, let's not get the stack. I think she will one shot. So I'm just gonna go for this. Let's go for this. Almost one shots, and so the uh, the the five turns is what makes me a little concerned for her longevity and like PV activities, like demonic beast battle. Maybe she will be very good for the next demonic beast battle. We don't know, right? Uh, but as it stands right now, it's a little unfortunate for her that um, her passive has a time limit like that because it really makes so. Okay, I I don't want to get her passive too fast. Because or else I'm not going to be able to, uh, ooh, she's just going to eviscerate this phase 3, okay. I'm not going to be able to have her maxed out by the 4th phase, here we can. Um, I, I mean, might as well see if um, she will do damage with her single target here. Um, I'll save the melee card in case we do get a level 3 for him. But at the same time, I also, I also want to get it, right? So it, it still takes six attacks for me to get it. Oh, she did one tick of damage. Um, so it's not too fast to get it. And at the same time, it doesn't last too long. So but it doesn't last too little either. It's like, I don't know. It, it's an interesting middle ground that she has for PvE. But I kind of wish that it wasn't limited. At, uh, it's like... Would it be too overpowered if the uh, the passive wasn't limited? This will do damage. I think it will. She has so much HP. I can actually check. Yeah. At 6-6 six, six, though, I think at like low ult level, it would not do damage there. She is she's an interesting uh, thing to think about, where she has all that going for her. And like, Trader Mally doesn't. So like, Trader Mally is obviously a better PvE unit. Uh, than she is, but I wouldn't fully discredit her, so let's see how her HP, 431k, okay, let's cleanse the attack uh, debuff there, and this will kill for sure, like Trader Melly, I mean, he's, he's on her banner, right, <clears throat> and he is, I think, the best overall unit in the game, like, you can say all Rimuru is slightly better for PvP, and, you know, Maybe other unit you would call better for PvE, but overall, like on the sum of all parts, he's like the best unit in the game, right? Overall. So he's in her banner, no guarantee, but he is there. <laughs> so if you pull him, it's a big deal. And uh, I, I think um, she she's also doing decent. She does a lot of damage. I think maybe for the next demonic beast spell, she might be very good, because we're getting a pro we're probably getting a new demonic beast spell next week. 
for JP. So uh, we just got patch notes for this week. And uh, it's just going to be that week for this week. But next week, we're going to get something. And if it is a Demonic Beast battle, oh, I'm scared we're going to kill here. If we kill, I'm going to back out, but uh, hopefully don't. Um, she might be good for for Deer. She does, okay, you're going to see gameplay for Deer after Bird here. Spoilers. She's not very good. Like, the thing is that for Deer, I don't like using Trader Melly either for Deer. Like, he's really good because <laughs> Trader Melly does not care. Okay, I need to back out because I didn't get a single the one card, Sedge. So I was actually saying that um, um, Trader Melly, you know, he doesn't care. He does like damage cap even without damage increase. And I realized, actually, you know, we don't need to abide by the next phase's passive. Let's just let let us uh, let him kill us, right? I'm gonna get the revive here for Liz, and then next turn we're gonna ult with her and uh, let the bird kill us for the revive to proc. Because here, so, some of you that have not been uh, doing bird maybe as often as I have may be questioning why am I not using a taunt unit? Obviously, for phase 2 here, he would kill us. And yes, that's true. With the 1, though, he can double hit and actually kill phase 2. But here, what we're actually gonna do is, uh, let's go for the ultimate here, and we're gonna get revive. And so he won't actually kill us. So let's do this. Uh, let's waste cards as well. I'll use the melee card here too. I'm not gonna bother ulting with uh, the one. We're actually just gonna have the revive, um, you know, revive us. And so here, we can actually have uh, the option of going with either the one or Liz's ultimate when it comes to phase two. So, we got the revive. He's gonna attack us twice. And then kill us. Because we don't have taunt. Liz survived? What the hell? She didn't die. <laughs> How? Oh, he full healed. <gasps> okay. I didn't expect that. But how? I, I, we didn't back out because I, I, did, I, I didn't know he would full heal because I've never had, like, I never let he, him, like, attack me like that. So, the strategy would, if I want to die from the revive, get the ult for her. And then at the same time, the same turn that you're ulting, get the one's ultimate so you can kill him the following turn. That is interesting. How did she not die though? So weird. Sorry, we're taking way too long here, but you know, I had to do some experiments. Damn, I didn't realize her stats would be so high. Alright, so th this is the proper way of doing this. So, um, we're gonna go for this, right? Because the one hits twice. So we can actually kill him normally. So I guess the strategy would be, if you don't get the one cards in the first phase, but you do get Liz cards, then you go for her ultimate, and then you go for the one's ultimate the following turn. Uh, on the turn that he's about to kill you. Interesting, okay. I mean, that's not, there's no reason to actually go for that, but like, you know. If you want to do that. Um, okay, let's do this. This phase, either you go for the kill or you go for one damage cap and she... Oh, she didn't... Is that damage cap? I think that's a little bit below damage cap. Her level 1 is not doing too bad. I'm using her HP crit because uh, that's the optimal way of running her, I feel like. Uh, for PvP. If you want damage, right? A lot of people are going to already have her with HP defense because, you know, that's uh, Goddess Liz if they have your gear for her and stuff like that. And if you already have Liz with HP defense, um, then there's no reason to give her crit. I mean, if you want to, obviously, but like, y you're going you're gonna to do just as fine with HP defense, right? The, the crit part only adds a little bit of damage. 
there's no reason to give her attack though. So let's uh, let's heal here and go for the kill. Her AOE does a lot of damage though if you if you do have HP over attack, which is nice. Because you think of AOE cards, you think of like, you know, if you're doing damage to like one enemy, it's not gonna do too much. But obviously there's really melee, which doesn't care, but like uh <laughs> she's also gonna do decent. Yeah, there's an AoE card, it's not bad. Level 1. And the more ultimate gauge I'll, I, I had, or if I had, it, it would do more damage as well. Nature's not bad. I mean, I, I honestly, I would prefer having Brynhildr on her place right here. Um, if I'm using, like, this the one variant over, like, Matron and stuff, I usually prefer having, like, Brynhildr here. Brynhildr is just so valuable. Because of her... Uh, Ult heal, uh, power strike, just does so much damage regardless of, of uh, <laughs> the level of the card. And then the other card, if you're like, if the enemy, in this case the bird, has max ultimate gauge, it does damage cap on level 2's like every time, even on, on, on the third floor. So, Brynhildr is way too powerful for me to just replace her like that. But she's not doing too bad. I mean, we have the damage reduction garbage, unfortunately, but um, she's not doing too bad. I think uh, she could be a better PvE unit if she had more, uh, either more damage, like Trader Melee, because like Trader Melee is just ridiculous, right? Or like more tech, if that makes any sense. Oh no, she, she is a damage dealer. That doesn't do as much damage as Trader Melee as, as I see it. That's how I see it. Uh, let's waste these cards for now. Like for PvP, she does enough, right? But we're talking like demonic beast battle is different, right? Like she does more damage than the one. Like the one is kind of old, right? He doesn't do as much damage as her. Uh, but he has the ultimate, right? The <laughs> This is the reason why I run the one. Uh, like sometimes on the bird here still, his ultimate is just next level, right? Her ultimate gives us the revive, but revive is not always useful, right? Like I went out of my way to make revive something, like doorbell ringed. Anyways, um, okay, let's do this. See, this is where Melly's damage is just insane, right? This phase, I don't know what it is about this phase, if it's the DHP or I think the defenses. Make it so, you know, you uh, barely do damage, but then truly Melly says, I uh, don't care. Damage cap with level 1. There's something that the, uh, the number 1 overall unit does. Your phase true. A lot of... Uh, the Galda cards here, let's do this. If we can get some cards for Liz, that'll be great, because I'm trying to use her a lot here, but, you know. She's not she's not doing terrible, though. I mean, again, I would have preferred having Brynhildr. Also, because Brynhildr has two single targets as well, right? Like, yeah, her AoE is not doing the worst. But, oh, oh yeah, this is the unfortunate thing of not having a taunt. Here, Brynhildr would be the one taking the damage if I was using her. But I guess the Liz's stats are way too high. Um, Liz will kill. Let's go for her ultimate here. Might as well. Not bad, not bad level 1. She still pops damage, you know? <clears throat> we have uh, only one more turn of her passive here. This uh, this passive right here, the, the five turns, it's uh, the gray, where's the gray? This one, only one more turn, unfortunately. Uh, let's pop her ultimate. And the, the one cards here. Shoot a damage cap. Oh no. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I just wouldn't bring her for this. A again, maybe next week comes around and there's gonna be a very big time Demonic Beast battle for her. 
um, where there won't be any type BS, like, goddamn, goddamn deer, right? And there won't be as high of a health pool, like, bird. I don't know. I don't know how they would make it so for her to uh, actually be, uh, like, really good for it. I want to save this for the next phase. Oh, they, they, they could do something for her. Let me make sure I kill here. And if that, that is the case, then good, but for like, for bird and deer, she just doesn't do much. Like, she just really doesn't. She's only terrible though. He got the revival card. Um... She's like... She doesn't have the thing anymore. Let's see this level 2. If she does enough damage, we should kill here and then do a little damage to the second revive. Nah. <laughs> That's not very good. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, we're, we're not gonna die, but we're gonna take a lot of damage here. Oh, okay, okay, he's focused. Yeah, Brynhildr would have died if he was Brynhildr. No, okay, Melly. Thank God Melly has the most insane passive in the game and <laughs> gives everyone the insane damage reduction. Or else he was dead here. Uh, yeah, I see Brynn Hilder would have been the one taking the hits because her stats are lower than Melly's. But here, um, Liz's stats are so high that he doesn't get she doesn't get targeted. Well, Deer is up next. Um, again, maybe next week. Alright, let's try her on deer. I mean, I <laughs> I don't expect the most, but it, it shouldn't be bad, right? She has two attack cards. And we, oh, deer doesn't have revive anymore. Deer does not have revive anymore, they removed it. Yeah, I have attack crit for her right now. Because I want her single target to do damage, but for the most part, you'd probably want to use her with HP crit. Or HP defense for PvP. For both for PvP. Oh, if you can do that command, that would be pretty epic. Uh, I guess I'll waste her AoE right now. Yeah, it's really not worth using attributes that don't contribute to the wheel. That's why I stopped using Trader Melee. Even though Trader Melee is like a god, right? It's just like if you don't contribute to the wheel, it is just such a like dead waste. So the thing is, right? I uh, I only bring in the one as a character that can uh, help her on her passive because I don't want her to get the max stacks too quick and not have the f um, the 15% in the last phase, right? Like, the fact that she has to worry about that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Let's kill here. And actually push an ultimate. <laughs> okay. Let's go green, blue. See, uh, she doesn't contribute, so I guess I should attack with her first. And then green, blue, red. Oh, now I have now I have a uh, Yormagander with dupes now because I pulled dupes on the anniversary banner. Now her ultimate actually does damage. <laughs> <laughs> I've been using Yorm again this whole time at 2-6. Okay. I probably will have 100 mil on, uh, this week. Uh, okay, let's go green, blue, and then this will probably kill. Nah, uh, the, the, the first card will probably kill, to be honest. So I, I kinda don't wanna go for the uh, 
ask an attack card, but... Eh. See, I, I'm just consciously not wanting to do the attack cards from Eskinor because I don't want her passive to ma max out so quick. I think she's now 4-6. My, uh, my Jormungandr? Okay, he got that passive, it's not too bad. Okay, now... We're almost at maximum for her. Yeah, we have one more attack to get maximum. Let's go for this. I kind of want to see her AoE do damage here. That's not bad. I mean, it's an AoE. So she's not going to do the most. Right? But, like, Trader Mally's AoE does hit hard. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, on Deer, it doesn't hit that hard. Let's save her ultimate for next phase. Uh, if I can take three hits here to kill, that'd be great. Let's uh, see, I mean, her ultimate is probably going to damage cap. So let's do uh, ult, green, blue, red. Her ultimate is probably going to do damage cap. I'll be very surprised if it doesn't. Yeah, I think that is damage cap. True, 19? Should be, yep, it is. I mean, we are so heavily boosted that I think, like, maybe a level 1 ultimate might do damage cap. Because she's gonna have. So I should check the her HP next time, with max passive and Jormungandr passive. Because he must like she must have so much HP at that point. Let's go in, man. <laughs> the freaking, um, the freaking other Liz relics are you know gonna release at some point. And they're gonna have to be really good to like compete with this Liz. Okay. Uh, always the AoE again. I want to see like a really strong. No, not this. I want to see like a really strong. Okay, yeah. That's kind of doesn't need the, the extra stack. Really strong single target from her. If there's gonna be her in the banner soon, the anniversary banner. She's gonna be an anniversary banner. It's gonna be an anniversary banner, and um, that's why I pulled her like I think two or three times. But I would love to get. Okay, it's fine. Um, this should kill here. I want to waste the AOE, but I didn't pull a single trailer melee, so. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, nice red cards. Her not contributing here is unfortunate, but red, green, blue, red. It is what it is. Yeah, I did. I did two rotations and six hundred, and didn't pull a single trader melee. So sad. This is why they, they should have put him in the coin shop, man. Such bullshit. Got a whole two for Askler, nice. I mean, she's still... Yeah, uh, the Deer Revive passive was replaced by something very... That seems very easy. I haven't seen it yet in game, but it seems very easy to deal with. Thankfully. Uh, this is her... Is this her passive? No. This is Jormungandr still. Okay, I want to see her with the passive and with Jormungandr. Um, oh, I could have, I could have brought like Sauriel 
instead of Scotty, but then I would get a passive too fast. It's like, I don't want to get the passive too fast. Because then by the, by the end of it, I'm not going to have it. It's such a weird way you have to play with Liz here. So, if we don't kill, she's going to get uh, frozen, which is fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I always look like I just woke up because I, I don't, I don't brush my hair. I don't, I, I just, I just wake up and I sit on the computer and I game. That's basically my day. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think I wanna ult with her here, just cause this phase is kind of annoying. So. We have her maxed out passive, but we don't have Jormungandr maxed out. Um, like, we don't have two stacks of Jormungandr for her. I'm gonna do this. Save the, the ult for the one for next phase. Because we want to kill next phase fast. No, I'm sorry. And then I'll, I'll, I'll get it too slow, right? And then by the end, I wouldn't get the passive. That's the thing. That's why having only the ones per on oh, here was the ultimate gauge. Having only the one is perfect, or having like only Saurio. I could have gone, yeah, I could have gone. But then I don't know. I, I, I then I would prefer having the one than having Saurio. I, Saurio is not bad, but I, I I'm, it's not my favorite to run here for sure. Um, okay. Damn it. Okay, let's get the ones ultimate here. No uh, Scotty card. Nice! 400k there. You don't want to run Blue Skinny King. You don't want to run any character that doesn't have two attack cards in this activity. No Scotty card, so that's fantastic. Um. <laughs> The one is immune, so I can actually just do this. Let's see. Nah, still. Oh, he's gonna like full heal now. Nice. Because he has lifesteal. Skyly card? Thank you. No, I have no the one card. I love deer. It's so good! Okay, uh, it's go it goes red and green. So we can heal here. Now let's go for her ultimate, I guess. It's kind of good for deer. Which is all around very good for it. Her passive, her attack hits hard. She has two single targets, she removes buffs. Now we got the one card. My, my Sky is attack defense. Now I can't attack him. I, I love deer, I love deer. It's so much fun. So much fun. Now we have to wait two turns and do nothing. For two turns. Mm -hmm. I really I really hope the next demonic beast battle is just like this one. Oh. You know <laughs> If I ult with Liz, do do I die to the counter? I think I should try it. <laughs> I think I should try it. <laughs> you know, what What do I have to lose, man? Doing this stage again. Uh, blue. Then goes red, then goes green. Oh, should we? okay. He didn't die? Number five! <laughs>
No, the one is so low, but okay, he's gonna. <laughs> he's gonna. He's gonna um, die now and then revive. <laughs> no, Scotty, don't die! Okay. <laughs> okay, blue. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to restart. Red. Green. Like. Uh, her not having the type attribute also sucks so bad, man. It sucks so bad. It sucks so bad because she doesn't contribute, she doesn't do extra damage. Using light and dark attribute in this sucks. It sucks so much. Okay. Kind of annoying that he has this takeoff ultimate gauge passive. Oh. Oh no. Oh, this is the new passive! For each uh, ultimate gauge he has, he increases his basic stats by 0.5%. Ah, oh, such an easy passive to deal with. They actually removed the revive that should put the easiest passive to deal with ever. Um, okay. We don't have two stacks, but we don't have a green card. Uh, okay. Let's just do this, right? Screw it, I'm just gonna go red, uh, blue and then red. Okay. Ooh, her ult hit for nothing, what? Interesting. I am using attack crit, but like... She has a shit ton of HP. Rechamp. Okay, good. I guess we're, we're gonna have to also... Get, uh, we're gonna end up getting gameplay for this new passive as well. Uh, okay, this I think that this passive is not that annoying. Okay, so we're, we're good. We're good. This new passive is very easy to deal with. Nice. So now he has like two very easy passives to deal with. Um, the one that you have to attack him and this one. The other one is gonna be the one that's kind of more annoying. The take off ultimate gauge every uh, every um, new phase. Shin cosplay when? I've already done that, but no one watched the video. So just... <laughs> Be like that. Yeah, we can we can go to the next phase of having attacked three times, which is nice. Might have to waste the single target though. <sighs> I don't think I... I have to choose a single target then. Alright. Surely... I'm getting... A freaking... A freaking uh, red card next turn. Dark thing for the prime. Nice. No red. Green. No, but I wanna <laughs> I wanna attack with her before I do that. Because I don't wanna get corrosed. So then red. And green. Ah, this is the annoyance of not using a current type or a, a regular type on deer. Nah, it's just not worth it. If you're gonna use like a, a non non helper, you might as well use Trader Melee or none at all. Use Brain Holder. It's like. It's just straight up not worth it to use her. Alright, let's go for uh, the kill here. I don't want to... I want to kill with three hits, so... 
blue, red, come. Um, this should kill. Oh, the, the red attack might kill. Nice. Uh, that's her typing, right? Ooh. Please do not attack the one. Actually, okay. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. I'm gonna save this the one card. And he surely will not delete it. Swear to God. Ooh, good damage. I mean, for the phases where you don't have to do the wheel, it's not so bad. Okay, good. I'm fine if her card's been deleted. I'm fine. Red, green, alt, attack, and I'm oh, sorry, blue, green. It will probably kill, maybe? How much damage is Liz doing? Yeah, her AoE does enough. Give me a blue card, please. Blue card, blue card. Blue card. <sighs> that sucks. Damn, he has so much attack. That sucks, man. It is what it is. Blue. Red. Green. Blue. It is what it is. By the way, team you're running. I know. I specifically made a team like this on purpose. If you use a full 7 deadly sin team, which you can't. Because you have to run Gurmangander. Then she's gonna have her passive first turn, and then he's gonna run out by the time in phase 4. I'm all, I only have one more turn here, and only have one 7 of the Sins character. I do too much damage. I do too much damage. Maybe not. Oh. oh, the hell starts. You know, if I had Trader Mally and I had like a level one for him, he could finish it off. But I have Liz. I just lost. I think I should just reset. Uh, I just lost. There's nothing I can do here. Or I can wait another turn. I, I can wait actually. I can wait. So let's uh, let's do this. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I just do this. If I attack with Liz first, then he's dead. I need I need the one to do extra damage. He he's not Trader Melly. He's not Brynhildr. Brynhildr doesn't need extra damage. Brynhildr can just one shot. Should kill. Crit.
I didn't attack last turn, so I don't have two stacks for Yomungander. That sucks. I couldn't attack three times last turn. Okay. Um, I think Elizabeth hits very light here. So... I can actually um, remove the buffs, attack with her, and then do this, maybe. And ask their my crit this time. By changing the attacks. Okay, that's not too much. Nice. Well, if you need someone to do 30,000 damage, Elizabeth is your, uh, is your unit. Apparently. Just don't bring her.